what are the treatment options for hyperthyroidism? What medicine can be used to treat this? What is radioiodine and how is it used? And what surgery can be done to cure hyperthyroidism? Let's talk about them in this video. Hyperthyroidism is the condition where the level of thyroxine in your blood is abnormally elevated. Hyperthyroidism can be treated with medicine, radioactive iodine or surgery. The choice depends on a number of factors like your age, the severity of hyperthyroidism, your preferences and the underlying cause. The commonest treatment option we use are antithyroid medicine. These include drugs like carbimazole and propylthiouracil. These drugs work by reducing the synthesis of thyroxine in the thyroid gland and the release into the blood. Although these drugs are effective, not everyone responds to these. If you have been on these drugs for more than 18 months and your disease is not under control, you will most likely need surgery. The common side effects of these drugs include rash, joint pains and pain in the stomach. A sore throat is a rare but serious side effect. When you're taking this medicine, you will need blood tests every six weeks until your thyroxine level has become normal. Beta blockers like propranolol are also started with antithyroid medicine. They can control symptoms like trembling, rapid heart rate or anxiety. Once the hypothyroidism is under control, these can be stopped. Radioactive iodine is taken up almost exclusively by the thyroid gland. The radiation it releases then kills the cells of the thyroid gland. The amount of radiation released is small and this does not cause cancer or infertility. The complete destruction of the gland may take up to four to five months. Most people who take radioiodine will become hypothyroid and they will need to take thyroxine for the rest of their lives. The common problems of taking radioiodine include needing a second dose, the disease coming back after some time, and if you have Graves' disease, worsening of your eye signs. The patient will need to avoid close contact with small children and pregnant women for about a week. Surgically removing the thyroid gland is a permanent cure for hyperthyroidism. This is usually done if the goiter is large, if there are suspicious nodules that may become cancer, if the patient cannot take antithyroid medicine or if there is severe Graves' disease. The complications of this surgery include the damage to nerves that control your voice and damage to the parathyroid glands which control the calcium level in your body. After the surgery, you will need to take thyroxine for the rest of your life. For more videos like this, please visit my YouTube channel, Facebook page or the Instagram feed.